Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my collective semi-annual sale haul from Bath & Body Works. I did go to the sale, I believe, four times. I think I went maybe like the second day, then I went two times in the middle, and then today was my last and final haul, which I'm super excited I went today because I probably found some of the best stuff. I did not place anything online and I only have two stores near me, so... Yeah, I would switch off on which stores I went to. Anyways, I am just going to jump right in. I guess I will start off with my hand soaps. Um, first up, every single soap I did buy was 75% off, so they were all like a dollar and change. Um, first up, I do have the Vanilla Cloud. This is in the Gentle Gel formula. I know I said it before, this formula is really not my favorite, but for 75% off, it is still a really good deal. Also, when I found this soap, there were no other 75% off soaps. It was just this and just in this formula, so I was like, okay, sure, I'll get it. Also, I um, like this packaging a lot, so that's a nice added bonus. I also got the blackberries and basil hand soap i don't know like what this like cute little collection is either but it's like my favorite color it's all like that super girly color so yeah and i said it before too it's like soaps i'm not that picky well for 75 percent off i'm not really that picky about that much um but hand soaps especially it's like eh although speaking of um not well I guess it's the opposite of being picky, but um, French Lavender, this is actually one of my like favorite hand soap scents in general, just a favorite scent in general. I absolutely love French Lavender, so I was very pleasantly surprised to find this. It was the only one I could find, otherwise I would have bought like a lot. Um, I actually took it pretty easy on the hand soaps, I guess just because I already have like a huge stash at home and all of the scents were like redundant and I definitely don't need any. I did pick up a Vanilla Cloud. This is just so cute. It's like so like babyish and so like pastel -y and soothing. Um, I really like that scent as well. I got a Strawberry Pound Cake. A lot of people know this and love it. I am also one of those people. And the last soap, this was like such a random find, is the Fresh Sparkling Snow. I remember um, the cashier had to ask her manager if she could sell it because I'm pretty sure it came up as MOS and then the manager was like, yeah, sure, you know, because it was like on the floor. Um, and I think sometimes they like feel bad to like say they can't when it's technically out. Um, I also randomly picked up a Eucalyptus Mint um, pocket bag spray. I never really get these. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just thought maybe I'd like throw it in my gym bag or I don't know, just, just to try it because, you know, it's cheap. Um, you guys know that I absolutely love that scent. Um, okay, some other just random things. This is the Hand Cream Happy Easter Tutti Fruity Candy. I'm not, um, um, like, this isn't like my favorite scent. It's like, um, it's like a sweet fruity scent. It's, you know, it's good. It's nothing like special, but, you know. Anyways, I'm just going to stop talking about the prices because we all know. I also picked up a eucalyptus pyramid sugar scrub in stress relief. I've said it before. This is one of my all-time favorite scents. I really should have gotten more than one of these. This was not 75% off, but I think it was like $4.95 or something like that, which I think is a good deal, especially for the scrubs. I really should have gotten more. I also found a white t-shirt room spray. When I picked this up, it was 50% off. Um, but I'm really, really in love with the white t-shirt scent, especially in a room spray. I really like clean. Um, this find is actually from today, the room spray in Ocean. This is 75% off. And again, it's like a nice, um, clean, fresh scent. Um, okay, a couple wallflowers. These were all 75% off. I got the Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla and Paris Cafe. This collection, truthfully, I really was thinking that I would be like wowed by it and like want to pick up all of the candles and I actually did not pick up any candles in this collection while I like I like it I didn't love it and sometimes when I don't love a scent in a candle I'd rather pick it up in a wallflower just to try it um you know because then I'm not like stuck with like a big whole huge thing anyways and to be honest my wallflowers I can generally only smell halfway anyways um I got the Toasted Pineapple Marshmallow. Same with like this collection. I just really wasn't like that wowed by anything. So I don't know. I did get a Strawberry Daiquiri. This candle I would have considered picking up because I do really enjoy the scent. It just seems like it's going to be on the lighter side to me. I got a um, Sunny Tropical Mango. 
a market peach and strawberry pound cake this if i was going to pick up any of the candles from this collection it would have been this scent but again i just i don't know i feel like a peach scent i'm probably gonna get sick of it like to me like the fruity scents i often like get sick of at the halfway mark so i try not to buy them and then the last one is the black cherry seltzer and sometimes cherry scents like really like don't do it for me but this is like a fruity like a bubbly fizzy drink it reminds me of like um like a body care they had um I think like last year or something like that that I was into a lot um okay on to like the ex super exciting finds okay um first up this candle these a couple candles I'm going to show you guys are from today's haul which I was very surprised I must have been in the right place at the right time because I snatched these it's like I was at the front table and one of the associates was putting out like random candles and I like you know like was curious about which scents and these were like such old and such like precious finds so first up i found a old bergamot waters i mean this isn't that old it's probably like i don't know three years four years old um yeah it's it's not really that old but this is probably when the candles were 22.50 maybe 20 no i think 24.50 um to be honest bergamot waters has never really like intrigued me that much but for like you know five dollars of course I'm gonna get it. It's like a watery, oceanic, um, slightly masculine scent. So yeah, excited to try that out. I also found the Bahama Fizz. This one I actually asked him, I was in the checkout line and I only picked up, you know, I was only able to find two 75% off candles and this wasn't on the table and when I was like about to check out I was like hey sir did you happen to see any other 75% off candles if so I would love to take them um you know or see which ones you have so um, he gave me Bahama Fizz I've never seen this I've never well no okay that's a lie I have seen it I've seen um I think I've seen it from Bren on um YouTube I forget her channel name um and maybe I've seen it on her Instagram as well but um yeah I've never smelled this before it's interesting it's not like something truthfully I might like pick out if it was just randomly, you know, like 50% off or um, full price or anything like that. Definitely never full price. It says it's fresh kiwi slices, island pineapple, coconut water, and a splash of rum. It smells like banana. Um, yeah, like a banana pina colada kind of, um, but yeah, very excited. And then the last candle from today was the Fresh Balsam Slatkin and Co. You guys, what is this? This is so crazy. I was like, how is this still in the existence of the back room? And I was surprised that the guy wanted to sell it to me. I don't know if he was a manager, but I overheard him talking to another employee and he was like, yeah, like we have to like put out all of our products. You know, we don't want this to like keep getting back stocked. And so I obviously had to snatch this up. This is crazy. This is such a throwback. Um, still smells delicious strong and wonderful just like the christmas tree scent um yeah so super hyped for that um and then i also got a couple single wigs and a couple more um three wigs but this is all just out of order these are still 75 percent off I'll, I'll let you guys know when the price has changed um single wig in eucalyptus rain this was also from my haul today at the same store i only went to one store today again I've had this scent before it's not like my like ultimate favorite but you know when it goes super cheap I'm all about it it's just a clean um watery scent I got a single wake and iced lemon pound cake I've never tried this one it did intrigue me but again I didn't know if I like loved it enough to actually pick it up it does literally smell like a lemon bakery um dessert though exactly like the name is um says um okay a couple other candles these i think were from my like early on hauling days um anyways i these two were 75 percent off though this is in the scent peppermint marshmallow give hope i think this came out last um last year the year before no i don't know this is 22.50 so i guess it's a couple years old i don't remember this smells delicious i probably should have gotten more peppermint marshmallow is just such a good delicious amazing scent and i also got a love cotton candy champagne i believe that this is the um this was the only one there this one they had a lot of and i probably should have gotten more and then this i think was like one of the only ones so yeah anyways that's that um 
They did also have today, I just left it, they did have a three wick for 75% off, just one left in Berry Waffle Comb. But Berry Waffle Comb is like kind of like Ant to me, especially in the candle. I'm really finding that I prefer it in like the lotion or the spray. Um, it's like too heavy. It's There's something too much in it in the candle form, at least in my like last like um, project use it up and everything. I kept like taking forever to get through the single wick. So I didn't buy it because I'd rather someone else get it and like really truly love and appreciate the product. So I was like, no, let me like leave it. And then the very last candle, this was an exchange candle, so I actually didn't pay for it. Um, this is in the scent Sprinkled Birthday Cake. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying the scent. I actually just finished one, which will be in my empties, which hopefully I will film right after this. But yeah, I'm really enjoying the scent. Um, and at the store I went to, they didn't really have many options. So I just thought, you know, why not just get another one um, just to have. And actually, I did also pick up the Pink Petal Tea Cake candle. That's like buried away in my closet in my like collection somewhere. And I just forgot to show you guys because I guess I already like put it away. Anyways, okay, on to um, some body care. And I also got like tons of pocket bags and then that will complete the video. Sorry, I feel like I need to like adjust. Um, so yes, this was also a really good find. I randomly found Cashmere Glow Body Lotion and Shower Gel. I haven't picked this, I, I don't think I've had this in like years. Um, you know when like, like you like used to like love a scent and then you give it a break for a couple years and then you come back to it and you're like, wow, that's like a really nice scent. That's how I feel about Cashmere Glow. It's like sexy, soft, and like comforting. It's like such like a nice cozy like wintry or fall time time scent. I really like it. Um, they didn't have the spray and also I'm trying to really take it easy on my sprays because sprays take me like triple the amount of any other body hair to finish up. So I'm like no and I have a lot. I mean I have a lot of everything but sprays are like really like over overload right now. Um, I did get the A Thousand Wishes Glowing Body Scrub. Um, you guys know I'm a sucker for scrubs. I say it all the time. A Thousand Wishes is like, um, like a sweet, um, very like, like, um, a very feminine, like flirty kind of a scent. So why not? And I got a In the, Into the Night Glowing Body Scrub as well. Um, these two next items were really random. I think I only picked them up because I needed to get to like a certain money amount. I got the Golden Ocean pearl um in the body cream honestly i wish they had had this in the shower gel the scent is not bad it's kind of generic very like non-offensive very light i can't like really predict any actual specific scent from it if you ask me what was in it i wouldn't really know what to say it's kind of like nondescript baby powder powdery soft like a nighttime cozy before bed kind of a scent um generally though I prefer scents like that in a shower gel than a cream but you know like um I did need to get up to like a certain like money threshold so I just grabbed it and then from that same trip I also did get a strawberry pound cake again just because I needed to like reach like a certain um dollar amount strawberry pound cake though I've already said in this video tried and true absolutely delicious I will always love this so why not um Okay, just random other things. Anyways, um, I did get the um, Fresh Getaway, the lotion, the lotion and the shower gel. I, I don't really like that like the shower gels look exactly like the lotions. And I don't like when I can't see through the bottle because I like knowing like how far my progress is. I'm really into this whole collection. I just, I love like like the freshness. I just, I'm really just digging this entire collection. I wish they weren't um, taking it away, but I don't really know how to describe it. It's like oceanic, calming, laundry. It's like all like the, the good things you envision when you think of like clean, like I ever, it's just like comforting and just like wonderful. I, I don't even know how else to describe it, but I'm obsessed with this. Um, yeah, so I got one of those. To go along with that, I also did get um, two white t-shirt shower gels. And I got a white t-shirt body cream. It's, again, it's just this entire collection. I don't even know how to describe it besides it's like a mixture of ocean, laundry, and just so like clean and crisp and refreshing and relaxing all at the same time. I just love it. I think white t-shirt is my favorite and then fresh getaway. I thought about getting the um, coconut and cotton, I think, but I'm eh about coconut so I was like I didn't want to buy it try it and then not be that crazy about it so I skipped on that one I also got a con two conditioners first up in lavender and vanilla in the aromatherapy line I think I said it before in my videos the shampoos are okay but the conditioners I really really enjoy they leave my hair really soft I don't really notice per se like them smelling 
you know, like the, the scent lingering in my hair, but they make my hair really soft and really easy to brush after. And I happen to really love lavender and vanilla um, scent. And I also, this is odd for me because I never used to like this scent and I'm still not really crazy about it. I think I just got it for the variety and I might not keep it. I am undecided yet. I did also pick up a Japanese cherry blossom conditioner. Again, I know that that's like so random and I've never liked this scent. But I don't know, it's just, you know, for like your hair and it's not going to like linger like on my body. And I don't know, maybe it'll make my hair smell nice. <laughs> and then the last um, trio and the last body care before I do all of my pocket bags. Sorry, I just had to scooch them all over. I did pick up a um, Beach Nights trio. A lot of people love this scent. I am one of those people. I did not buy this at 50% off just because I like to tell myself like if it sells out then it's not really meant to be. I have tons and tons of body care. They'll always bring it back. But anyway, sorry, I'm like going off into like random rants and whatever tonight. But yes, Beach Nights tried and true. Love this scent. It's been coming out for years now. It's just, it's just delicious. This is just like literally everything. So yeah, I did also just buy this today. So I am glad that I waited because it did drop. Um, okay, on to the, the pocket bags. I always try to wait to buy pocket bags, um, especially for like the spring and summer ones where I'm extra less picky about the scents when they're half off. And then I basically just pick up almost any scent. So first up, I got one that says girls support girls in stronger together. Okay, that's interesting because I have no idea what scent this is. Um, I got a Happy Place Morning Mandarin. So these were all 50% off, so they're coming out to like 88 cents, something like that. Um, rose Water and Ivy. I think I got three of these. Yes, I got three Fresh Getaways. Um, Actually, I might have gotten four of these. I think one is already on my bag. I got a Beautiful Day. Mango Cove. Almond Blossom. A Watermelon Lemonade. And a white t-shirt. And actually, I think I also picked up an Island Margarita, which is currently on one of my bags. So yes, that is everything. I wasn't really looking for anything. I never really am. The things I mainly always try to look out for is 75% off candles, good deals on scrubs, good deals on hand creams, and um, any kind of like fun, like accessory or knickknacky thing. I just wasn't really like crazy about any of those things that I saw in my stores and always um, the actual perfumes. But um, yeah, I would say I did pretty good. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Bye.